Hey guys, welcome to the 19th lecture of the DIP series. This is Anushri Karisti and today we're going to study about discrete cosine transform, also known as DCT and Haar transform. Now the first one is discrete cosine transform. It represents an image as a sum of sinusoids of varying magnitudes and frequencies. Okay, so DCT, it has this property. Uh, for a typical image, most of the visually significant information about that image is concentrated just in a few coefficients of the DCT. Okay, and for the same reason, uh, it is often used in image compression applications. Okay, so now let's look at a one dimensional DCT function. Okay, x of k is equal to alpha of k sigma n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n cos 2n plus 1 pi k by 2n where k stands between 0 and n minus 1 and alpha of k is equal to root of 1 by n if k is 0 and root of 2 by n if k is not equal to 0. Now let's look at the questions. Now before moving ahead with the questions, let's look at the basis or kernel for a 4 point DCT. So if you have an image which is 4 point or a 4 point sequence, then this is the kernel for it. Okay, a 4 by 4 image or a 4 point sequence. And the 1D DCT formula is f of k is equal to kernel into f of x, whereas the 2D DCT formula is f of k comma l is equal to kernel into f of x comma y into kernel transpose where f of x and f of x comma y are input images. Now let's move on to the questions. Now we have a question here. Find the DCT of f of x which is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 7. So this is a one dimensional DCT. Okay, a one dimensional sequence. And that's why we will be using the one dimensional formula, which is f is equal to basis function, also known as the kernel into f of x. So we'll just take this kernel and then we'll multiply it by the sequence. So I've already done the matrix multiplication for you and the answer comes out to be 7 minus 4.459. 1 and minus 0 0.370. So this comes out to be the final answer. Let's look at one more question. Find 2D DCT of f of x comma y is equal to this matrix. Now as you can see this is a 4 by 4 matrix. So that's why the kernel which we'll be using again will be our same 4 by 4 kernel. So once we solve this we use the formula kernel into f of x comma y into kernel transpose okay so we take the kernel and then the input image and then we take the kernel transpose so here we're just interchanging the rows and columns so this row we wrote it down as a column here the second row as a column here and so on and then when we multiply all of these matrices first these two and then that resultant matrix with this matrix then we get this as our final answer so i've already done all the calculations for you you can try it out on your own now both dct and hard transform are image compression techniques okay the dct works by separating images into parts of differing frequencies whereas if you look at hard transform it is an efficient way to perform both lossless and lossy image compression and it mainly relies on averaging and differencing values in an image matrix to produce a matrix which is sparse or nearly sparse. Okay, A sparse matrix is something which mainly contains a large portion of its entries as zeros. Okay, So uh, now that we looked at the basic definition of Haar transform, let's look at the kernel for it. So the kernel for a 2 by 2 matrix is h2 is equal to 1 by root 2, 1, 1, 1, minus 1. Okay, so this will mainly be useful for questions which involve a 2 by 2 matrix. 
Now for a 4 by 4 matrix or a 4 point sequence you can use H4 is equal to 1 by 2 and then this following matrix. So let's look at the questions now. Now we have a question here. Find the Haar transform of the signal f of m comma n is equal to 4 minus 1, 2, 3. Now this is a 2 by 2 matrix which means that our Haar basis should also be 2 by 2. Okay, so that's why the formula which we'll be using will be of a 2D Haar transform. Okay, so as we have been doing with DCT and DFT as well, we'll be using the same formula but with Haar basis. So H2 into the input image into H2 transform. So what is our H2 or Haar basis? It is 1 by root 2 into 1, 1, 1 and minus 1. So that's why our function would become this Haar basis into input image into the transform of Haar basis. So we have just interchanged the rows and columns of the Haar basis and it comes out to be the same. And that therefore our final answer is this. So with this we have completed DFT, DCT and Haar transform. Now I want you guys to remember that if it is either of these three transforms, the formula remains the same. That is for 1D the formula is kernel into the input image. Whereas for 2D it is kernel into input image into transpose of kernel. So this formula remains the same. What changes is the basis matrix. Okay, so I would recommend that you create a list of all the basis matrices, okay, for DFT, DCT and Haar transform. So you can just write down all the basis functions or basis matrices for 2 point DFT, DCT and uh, Haar transform 4 point as well as 8 point. So that they would come in handy, okay, or it would be easier to remember those for your exams, okay. So that's it for this lecture. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.